This episode is brought to you by Never Surrender, a Galaxy Quest documentary. Learn more at fandom.link slash never surrender. It's a Wonderful Life proved that everyone has value. Home Alone showed us why we shouldn't take family for granted. But one holiday film will teach us Christmas turns everyone into an asshole. Ah! Jingle all the way. Are you ready for a Schwarzenegger comedy? Don't worry, it has just as much violence as his other stuff. He'll play Howard Langston, your ordinary Austrian bodybuilder mattress kingpin? You're my number one customer. You're my number one customer. You're my number one customer. When his neglected son wants a special toy for Christmas, Howard will blaze a one-man trail of destruction to buy his kid's love by any means necessary. Whether that means lying to his wife's face. I got the turbo man doll. Grabbing a child by the face. Nicole! Ow! Or punching an animal in the face. You started it. Oh. It's a music change and some blood packs away from being a hard R slaughter fest. This is nothing but a harmless Christmas package. Watch a mad dash to find a limited release toy in a world without smartphones or eBay, where you were constantly forced to interact with ooh, other people. Like the only other global star on Arnie's level in 96, Sinbad. He'll play the rival sociopath Myron, an alcoholic mailman who with so many assaults, kidnappings, and felonies by the end of this thing, you just know it'll be his last Christmas as a free man. Merry Christmas. Wow. Sorry, kid. That's going to the evidence locker. Maybe one of the cops has a son who hates him, too. Are there any redeeming characters in this movie? No. His wife is a nagging cliché. Where are you? Do you have any idea what time it is? Please tell me that you did not forget that doll. You can't be going to the office. Damn you, Howard. The neighbor, Phil Hartman, bless his soul, is plowing his way through every mom in the neighborhood. And Santa? Santa is a lie. Just a bunch of ex-cons running bootleg toys out of a warehouse. You'll even want to punch Chris Parnell in the face. And you like Chris Parnell. <laughs> So enjoy a Christmas film that has so little love for the holiday, it comes after the credits. That one can only hope is a satire of commercialism, because it spends 80 minutes of showing you the dark, malevolent forces of capitalism turning us into beasts. And exactly one minute reminding us that family was the true gift all along. Huh, maybe they expand on this in the sequel. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Starring The goggles, they do nothing. Sin bad in this movie. Hi, I'm Phil Hartman. You may remember me from such films as Sergeant Belko, Loaded Weapon 1, and Amazon Women on the Moon. The Phantom Menace. Okay, Booster. Howard? 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 Even worse, Santa. And Modern Fandom. We hate you, Booster! Last Action Figure. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I am so glad they didn't make Iron Man in the 90s. Ah! Thanks for watching. By Graptar's Hammer. Click the box on the left to learn more about Never Surrender. Ah! I have spoken. Okay, Boomer. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom.